Hi students, Professor Quinn back for the second video in our two-part series, Building the JavaFX GUI. In part one, we created an FXML file using the drag and drop environment of the scene builder. If you haven't watched this video in its entirety, please click on the link in the description below. The FXML file that we created in the last video is complete but non-functional. What I mean by this is that a user can click in the first and last name boxes and type information, but clicking on the submit button does nothing. This is where the controller comes in. We can add Java code to the controller that handles events in the GUI like clicking a button. The code in our event handler, which is nothing more than a method, can perform a task, which in our case will be to display the information in our text boxes to standard output. If what I've said doesn't make sense, watch the video, then return to this introduction after viewing the process. If you found this information useful, please consider clicking on the like button below. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Next, we will take a look at the skills that you will learn in this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will add to the skills that we learned in the previous video. We will use a controller class to define event handlers for the JavaFX FXML GUI. In particular, we will add an event handler for the click of a button. We will also handle events generated by the user interactions with the GUI components. Here, when the user clicks the button, we will have code that runs and displays the first and last name in standard output. Let's get started. We left off in our last video with a complete GUI. We had an anchor pane, which stores all of the objects that we see here, a label with our title, an image view with a picture, and a grid pane which contains four objects, two labels, and two text boxes. The first label corresponds to an area where a person can type in the text box a first name. The second label corresponds to the area where a user can type in the text box a last name. Lastly, we have a button that the user can click on. Remember, when the user clicks the button, the first and the last name will display to standard output. When we saved the file, we saw that the layout containers and controls were saved in our FXML text file. Although the GUI looks nice at this point, clicking on the submit button would not do anything because we haven't written any Java code to perform this functionality. So let's give our GUI this functionality. The first thing I'll do is build a controller from the FXML file. If I go to scene.fxml and right click the mouse, I can choose Make Controller. If I go to my controller now and double click, I can see that the controller has all of the necessary libraries for the controls I added in the scene builder. If I scroll down, you'll notice that there are labels, text fields, and buttons that correspond to what I added in my scene builder. The event that you see here is left over from our previous file. If you remember, we deleted all of the objects in the previous file before beginning. Events do not get deleted when this happens. We don't need this information, so we can remove it. The next thing that I want to do is return to scene builder and create code for my button. You'll notice if I click on the button in the inspector pane, I can see that the code has no action associated with it yet. If I click in the on action, I can type an action name. 
I'll type on submit click. This is the event that will occur when a user clicks on the button. I'm going to click outside of this area and then choose File, Save. You'll notice that the changes have been saved to Scene FXML. And if I return to NetBeans now, the controller is not updated. Let's go to Scene FXML, right click again, and choose Make Controller. You'll notice further down in my code, the on click submit event or method has been added. Let's code this method. Let's create some test code for this button. I'll type system.out.println and I'm going to add the words student information just to see whether or not when I click on the button if it doesn't display student information. I'll go to the run button and in just a moment the GUI will display. If I click the submit button you'll notice in system output student information appears. So the button is now working. When I click the submit button it calls the event on submit click and runs this code. Next we're going to add a little bit more code. I'll type system.out and I'll use a print f statement. Here I'll type first name just to generate this text and then percent %s percent %n percent %s refers to the argument after the comma percent %n will give me a line after it displays the first name text here i'm going to display the text field txt and remember it's first name in order to get the text out of the text field i need to call a method which is get text i'll repeat this process for the last name simple copy and paste and i'll change it from first to last name and I'll change the text field name from first to last name. When I'm finished, I can save and run. You'll notice the GUI opens, and if I test, I should see this information display in system output. One last thing that I might want to do is clear the two text boxes after the submit button is clicked. I'll close the GUI and on the very next line I'm going to call a clear method. First I'll do it for the first name text field. To call the method, I type dot and then clear. I'll repeat this for the last name. I'll run one last time. Press tab to move to the next text field. I'll click submit and you'll notice now the text will appear in standard output and the text boxes will clear.
text and standard output, text box is cleared. In this tutorial, we added functionality to the controls in our GUI. We used a button click to simply write information to standard output. As your skills at Java grow, you will be able to write this information to a text file or a database, or perform some other operation with the data that you've collected. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Keep learning.